Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ancient Roman Trading Secrets with General Romulus. That's me, Romulus. This show is brought to you by Backpack Trader. Our goal is to help you become the best version of the Backpack Trader you can possibly become. And look at that. We have an update to our website, everybody. So check it out, backpacktrader.com. Some excellent content and material in here to help you become the best version of the Backpack Trader. How many of you watching this are sitting on a sailboat right now? Or on the beach? Or by a pool or up in the mountains hiking? Maybe running a business that you've always wanted to run? Spending time with your kids? Or are you knocking your head against the wall 90 hours a week trying to figure the stock market out? You're doing it wrong. Okay, if that's the case, you're doing it wrong. I want you to think right now, what is your sailboat at the end of the rainbow? What is your sailboat at the end of the rainbow? I used to work 90 hours a week too. My head, yep, bloody from all the uh, scars I got from hitting against the wall trying to get these markets figured out. And then I learned two things, and this happened a while ago. I started in the market, started trading, investing as a professional right on Wall Street, 67 Wall Street in September 94. Almost 28 years ago, you believe that? So I started in September of 1994, and that was right before the dot-com mania kicked in, which was 2000, 1995. Things went crazy for five, uh, about five years in there until early 2000, and I was making money. Everyone around me was making money. I thought, well, this is what we do. We work in the stock market. We make money. And it didn't matter what you bought. Well, for the most part, the tech stocks were the thing, and they just kept going higher and higher. Then the stock market peaked. Dot-com stocks started coming down. A year after that, nobody was making money. I was doing a little better than people around me because of my technical analysis education was forming and building and I was improving, but still nowhere near as consistent as I am today. And then it hit me like a lightning bolt out of the sky just pummeled me to the ground. People make money when the market goes up, but they don't do it when the market goes down. And this is almost everybody. My 28 years experience shows me that almost 98% of all traders, all investors, doesn't matter with one year experience or 30 years. Doesn't matter if it's $5,000 or $50 billion. None of that matters. What matters is that people don't understand they make money when the markets go up and not when they go down because they're missing one key ingredient. And it's one key ingredient. We're going to talk at length about this on Thursday. Step away from the 98%. Okay, I just was on a, on a YouTube show this morning. There was a poll conducted. There was uh, several hundred people on the show conducting a poll, a lot of traders out there. And I asked them, okay, how many people have shown better results in their trading from mid-June, June 16th, until a few days ago than what they were showing from the beginning of the year until June 16th? You know what the number said? 88% of the people on that call said that they have been doing better from June 16th until a few days ago than what they were doing from early September, on, I'm sorry, early January until June 16th. Of course, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're a trader and, oh, Romulus, I got my strategies and I buy when it's this and I short when it's that. It doesn't matter. I promise you, if you're being honest, if you're really being honest, look at your results. You have done better from the middle of June till a few days ago than from early January to the middle of June. Again, let me repeat that. No matter what your strategy, no matter what your tactic, no matter who you learn from, unless you're dealing with people like us, because we do fine either way. But no matter who you are, look at your results. You have done better from the middle of June until a few days ago right here than you were doing from early January until the middle of June. I don't even know you. And I know that's a fact. Because no matter what strategy you have, no matter what tactic no matter what technique you're using, who you learn from, nobody has this part figured out. There's a magic word that you need to know. There's, some, there's a missing ingredient that you don't have. And I'm going to give you that missing ingredient. I'm going to give you that magic word this Thursday. This Thursday night, you're going to get it. All you need to do is send an email to that email address right there, Romulus at BackpackTrader.com. Letting me know that you want to join us on Thursday night and you will want to join us because I am going to give you again that magic word. I am going to give you that missing ingredient 
that one thing that is getting between you and consistent success. In addition, I have a special guest joining us this Thursday, Craig Johnson, technical analyst at Piper Sandler. Again, Craig Johnson, technical analyst at Piper Sandler. He's joining me on Thursday. Craig and I have known each other for over 20 years. We trained under some of the same people, um, learned a lot of the same things, but also have done some interesting uh, work with the things that we learned. So please join us. Again, all you have to do to get into that is send an email to Romulus at BackpackTrader.com. Again, Romulus at BackpackTrader.com. Let me know that you want to join us this Thursday, and we'll get you in. It's 4 p.m. Eastern, by the way, 4 p.m. Eastern on that event. It will be recorded, but the recording is only sent out to my centurion. So be there live, Romulus at BackpackTrader.com. You're going to get that missing ingredient, plus have an opportunity to have a conversation with one of the top technical analysts in the entire world, and also Craig Johnson. <laughs> You're probably looking at this screen and thinking, Romulus, look at that purple line. Yeah, that's something we've been showing you guys since uh, middle of March. I drew it right there on March 18th. The part of the uh, benefit has been that it allowed us to see this little area right here. We made money because the market was grabbing resistance in here and then bouncing, uh, support rather. Then we made money here because it was hitting resistance. But now everyone in their YouTube trading chart grabbing mothers has this purple line up. Um, again, we were first with it on March 18th. It helped us, but now everybody's got it. When everyone's doing something, it tends to lose its effectiveness. Um, but maybe not. I mean, you can see the market is once again, once again, running into some trouble right here. Tomorrow, big CPI report in the morning. Could see the market bounce from that. Um, but even if it does... It, was, it won't change the structural problem that is going on. Looks more likely than not that in the next couple of months, these lows will somehow be revisited. That could be either side up or down. Okay, earnings are all out. Federal Reserve raised rates again. Now we've got CPI report coming out tomorrow morning. And other than that, just a lot of great stuff happening in terms of the world of Club Romulus and our Centurions. If you'd like to join us for Thursday night, again, send us an email, romulus at backpacktrader.com. Let me know that you want to join us for Thursday, Thursday Night Live, 4 p.m. Eastern. We'll make sure you get the Zoom link for that. Part of the reason is you're going to learn something that will improve your trading and investing, not just on Friday, but for the rest of your life. And you want to come hang out with me and my buddy, Craig Johnson. Again, Craig, technical analyst at Piper Sandler, a Minneapolis, Minnesota-based investment bank. He's a fantastic uh, analyst. Great uh, mind for the stock market, also a wonderful human being. And I'm very much looking forward to the conversation with Craig. And I know that you want to join us, so please send us a note right here, Romulus at BackpackTrader.com. We'll get you in for that, no question. Now, something I've noticed that uh, I think is worthy of attention, you know, we see oil prices, they pull back, although they just kind of leveled off in here for a bit. But anyone else notice what's going on in the bond market here? Hold on, let's uh, pull up the right, the right chart. You see the two-year? Okay, this is a two-year note, uh, U.S. government two-year note, and it's flirting with decade and a half highs, okay? I mean, it's not that far away. It's a couple of days. I mean, here's the high of 345 and the high from a couple of days ago of 333. It's a day or two of trading away from breaking out. I mean, tomorrow could do it, tomorrow morning, but you see how it's just kind of holding these gains, consolidating these gains in here? Okay, that's one thing. Another thing is, Agricultural commodity prices seem to be putting in some kind of a bottom. And it looks like a possible inverse head and shoulders, possible happening, something like that. It can be seen a little more uh, easily on corn prices. Do you see that? I mean, we were told that all these shipments coming out of Ukraine was going to solve all that problem, and yet here you go. There has been definitely an inverse correlation all year long between agricultural commodity prices, oil prices, and the general direction of the stock market, specifically the tech market. You know, a lot of the traders out there really begging and praying for uh, a continuation of the tech rally. Again, it's the only way you make money. Um, by the way, uh, you know what? We'll save it for Thursday. <laughs> we'll save that for Thursday because that still just blows me away. All right. Anyway, fantastic to spend some time with all of you. It has been my pleasure. I'm looking forward to Thursday. Also, I will be back here again tomorrow to talk about great market uh, information and ancient Roman trading secrets with who? Your old buddy Romulus. And keep working at it. You do this right, that could be you right there on that sailboat. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.